Hello everyone, and welcome back to Virginia, an interactive mystery that we've been playing, taking place in the fictional city of Kingdom, Virginia. But you can see that there are a lot of nice facts here about the town. Let's go through them so we can learn a little bit more about this interesting and mysterious place was uh, founded in September 28th, 1784, and celebrated every year as Founders Day. The US Air Force established a base here outside of the town on August 4th, 1972, and Kingdom's small granite mine closed in 1965. And keep in mind the timeline of this uh, game is taking place approximately 1990, sometime in the early 90s. And you can look through this map and see a bunch of places we've been to. So I can see the police station and the gas station. I remember going there. And we've been to the observatory and the mine, the Air Force Base. I don't remember going to these other places. We might end up there eventually. But uh, in the previous episode, I mentioned that I wasn't sure who Sojourner Truth was. Well, I've looked it up. And she was a person who was enslaved in uh, the late 1700s who escaped and then was able to um, went on to become an advocate and advocate for laws against slavery and eventually helped the Union Army to recruit people to fight in the Civil War. So a very important person with the American Civil Rights struggle. Well, not the Civil Rights struggle, with the uh, anti-slavery struggle. But of course that led to the civil rights much later so an important historical person and i guess i don't know my american history that well i just slipped my mind but uh an important person anyhow let's resume this game and see what is going on in Cleveland, virginia so we just woke up um after oh geez what happened the last episode it's slipped my mind now we were at that bar and we were watching that woman sing and then everything went black and we woke up at home. Which is kind of a typical Thursday night for, uh, well maybe not for me. I guess maybe oh, when I, in my younger days, that could have been a typical Thursday night. Not so much anymore. However, we are back in our apartment yet again and can finally have enough uh, light to see. Apparently we have a ton of books. I didn't even see these before. Oh wait, is this our apartment? Maybe we're in, like in someone's office. And they got a locked door here. Hmm. Well, that's a little bit strange. No, I guess this is not our apartment. So uh, where did we wake up? We are sleeping on a couch somewhere, apparently. Uh, was it that, did that drunk guy, like, take us home? From the bar? And, well, here is, what, is this somebody else's apartment? We can just barge into, oh, we can go into that one too, apparently. This is strange. I mean, the entire game has been nothing but locked doors, and now all of a sudden we can just walk into random people's houses. Not that I'm complaining. Save our sister. Women strike for peace. A uh, bunch of boxes. All right. Well, let's see what else is going on here. Got some uh, modern art on the walls here. SDS, New Left Notes. I don't know what SDS is. That's a fictional concept or if it relates to something in the real world. And uh, we've got a little model of a house here. Wonder if this is a place where we can go eventually. It's like a pretty simple house, just got a staircase and a ladder up to the roof. We'll keep that in mind. And some ironing here. Just kind of like those shirts we saw in Lucas's closet. 
Well, that's all we can do in here, I guess. Now we can go through this door, or we can go down the stairs. Stop moving camera. Yeah, this camera is kind of floaty, you know. You, you stop your mouse, but it keeps going. Anyhow, we got a rather empty room here. Oh, a hospital bed. That's a little strange. I was wondering, wonder who uh, stays here. Can't go in the closet. All right, let's see what this uh, hospital bed tells us. Hmm. Yes, there's no one there right now. And an oxygen tank, well, apparently this room is set up for someone, maybe someone who has passed on. Can we read the cards? Nope, just a vacant room. Maybe we'll find out who was in here before, or who it's prepared for. So much for that. And oh, there is an automatic chair left. So apparently this is the home of an elderly person. And there's someone in the at the stove there. Let's see what's in here. And alright, it looks like there is a toilet with a bar next to it. So definitely, probably an elderly person, or maybe a disabled person, who needs help getting into the bath and using the facilities. Oh, and there is our image again. So we still look the same, although we've taken off her jacket. I don't know if we can do that on the job. Does that mean we're not on the job at the moment? Maybe. But where are we and how did we get here? And like, is that part of the plot or is this just bad? Well, okay, I'm gonna hold my tongue. And is this Maria? Yeah, I think that's Maria. Are we at Maria's house? And is that breakfast? Is that a weird egg with two yolks in it? And bowl of fruit, yeah, okay. Looks like she's making breakfast, oh, for the both of us. So, well, that's very thoughtful of you, Maria. So, I guess she didn't want to drop us at our apartment after the bar. Although, she did wake up in our bed at one point. So, I'm not exactly sure what our relationship is here. Okay, I just saw that diamond flicker. I know there's something over here. Okay, it's this seat. Time for breakfast. Hey, come on, Maria, your eggs are getting cold. Okay, this looks very unhealthy. Tasty, but unhealthy. box. Okay. Oh, the bird's gone. But we still got that roll of film. And oh, we're now in that uh, photo development room. So when we saw that red light before, was that like hinting at the uh, dark room sort of a thing? And okay, there's Maria looking through a window possibly. Is this the police dark lab or is this some other dark lab? Well, let's develop this photograph see what we get. Oh no, that's Maria's reflection. Oh, and she is also doing phot photography. Alright, oh, we're developing photos in 
Okay, well, I presume this is Maria's house, unless she's renting. But she seems able enough. What does she need all this handicapped equipment for? Unless it's for someone else, and there's someone else who lives here. Although, this does seem like an improvised uh, photography lab. So, maybe this isn't her house? Maybe they're, like, renting? This makes no sense. Bathtub now. Uh, okay, let's. Okay, oh, this is the fixer. I did take a photo developing course a long time ago when I was in high school. So I know that you have to put these photographs into two baths. The first one develops the film, and then the second one makes it permanent. So that must be what the second one is. So once you put the photograph, well, once you take it out of the second bath, then it's okay to expose it to light. If you expose it to light before, then you kind of ruin your photograph. Alright, looks like Maria has next place to go. Maybe this is the rinse over here. Nope. Alright, we're looking at this one. It's like two people hugging. All right, this guy is in jail now. Not sure why. Is he suspected in Lucas's disappearance? Is he his father? <laughs> is he related to that red-haired guy we saw earlier? I have no idea. Or maybe he is not the perpetrator, so we're letting him go? Why was he in handcuffs then? Or are we interrogating him now? I don't know what's going on. Like, wh why did we arrest him? Like, he wasn't the one who attacked us with a knife. As far as I could tell, he was just sort of like a bystander. Or like, maybe a relative of Lucas, but like, did he do anything that warranted arrest? Uh, okay, well, you're just sitting there. What else can we do? We can make a break for it. Anything else? All right, yeah, well, that seems to be the only thing we can do, so yeah, you're free, buddy. We arrest don't know why we arrested you, but uh, you can just walk right out of here now. Sorry for the inconvenience. Just uh, given all the weird stuff going on, I mean, it could as easily have been you as anyone else. So, you know, you may as well be safe. Okay, looks like Maria's over there. So yeah, that's his uh, priest guy gonna do anything. So he's talking to her and he's gonna walk away. Uh, okay, now police guy is gonna talk to him and walk with him. Is he a suspect? Is he still under arrest? What, what, if he's under arrest, what is he suspected of doing? I feel that I should know this as a member of the police. Like this isn't just like there's a mystery that we have to solve. This is like our boss is purposely hiding stuff from us. Not like it's a cover-up. It's just like basic stuff, like what your name is and what you're supposed to be doing. All right, what's going on, Maria? Okay, there's Smoker Girl over there. Maria seems disappointed. Uh, so the photographs misled us somehow. It would be nice to know what was actually on those photographs. It's got two people standing in the doorway at a distance. I'm not sure what that is. It's like a tree. Uh, I really don't know. Nice place map though. At least I can identify the photographs on the placemat. Those look like the airbase down there. It's sort of a strange thing to put on a restaurant placemat. Okay, let's pick up our FBI wallet. Nope, coffee. We're back into drink simulator. I mean, if there's one thing this game got right, it's drinking beverages. Oh, so that's a 
That's really the soul to our truth. Oh, statue. I guess that makes sense. So this film, is this Lucas's film? Are we like investigating the places that he was taking photographs before he disappeared? Anyhow, uh, Federal Bureau of Investigation, Monday, visited Fairfax residence, Kingdom, Virginia, as part of investigation into missing persons case M239402. Halpern, okay, that sounds familiar. Was Halpern, Len okay, which document? That was Judith's document. She was invest, no, it was um, Maria Ortega's case. She made a name for herself by investigating that. So let's see, uh, one more time. Visited Fairfax residence, Kingdom, Virginia, as part of investigation to missing person case. Halpern led the questioning of the Fairfax parents. Oh. All right. Also attending, so we are, what is our name? Harriet, I think, T something. I've forgotten her name already. Anyhow. Also attending was Sheriff Taft of Burgess County uh, Sheriff Department and several deputies. Details of this visit can be found in the associated case file. Left the Fairfax property early left the Fairfax property early evening. Unusual encounter on the road back to Quantico involving Buffalo. Not pertinent to this case. Uh, I, I feel ya. I mean uh, we we know the Buffalo surprises too. Anyhow, opportunity to investigate Halpern's belongings did not reveal any immediately suspicious items. Okay, wait a second. Is Halpern the detective or is Halpern the suspect? Missing person's case that Halpern led the questioning of the Fairfax parents. Opportunity to investigate Halpern's belongings did not reveal any immediately suspicious items. Yeah, I mean, the first paragraph makes it sound like Halpern's the investigator, and the last paragraph makes it sound like Halpern's a suspect. Or maybe there are two Halperns. And what's the date for this? This is 92. I'm not sure if this is present day or if this is referring to that uh, Ortega. Was it Maria? Maria Ortega? Or was it Judith Ortega? Anyhow, Tuesday. Potential line of investigation involving a personal item belonging to Halpern, a small locket depicting a figure. Will attempt to establish the identity of this individual, assumed to be a relative, possibly a parent or grandparent. Evidence obtained at the Fairfax residence lead, led myself and Agent Halpern to quarry local to a quarry local to Kingdom. Alright, is this just a summary of the case we've been investigating so far? So this might actually give us some indication of what we've actually been doing for this last few episodes. Okay, small locket depicting a figure. How to identify of this individual, okay. Evidence gained at Halpern resident led myself and Agent Halpern Wait, and Agent Halpern? Who is Halpern? Okay, I'm reading this one more time. Visited Fairfax residence, Kingdom, Virginia, as part of investigation into missing persons case and whatever. Halpern led the questioning of the Fairfax parents. So I'm guessing that's the priest and uh, his wife. Also attending was Sheriff Taft. Wait a second, is... Okay, Maria Ortega changed her name to Halpern. Is that her new name? I think that might be it. And I wish I could remember what those envelopes look like again. I should have been taking notes. I haven't been. I should have been. Uh, okay. Details of visit can be found in the case. Left Fairfax property early evening. Unusual encounter and road back to Quantico involving Buffalo not pertinent to case. Opportunity to investigate Halpern's belongings did not reveal any immediate suspicious items. Okay, I'm, I guess she's just saying she uh, searched through her partner's stuff. 
potential line of investigation involving personal item belonging to Halpern, small locket depicting a figure, will attempt to establish the identity of this individual assumed to be a relative, possibly parent or grandparent. Okay, why are you being nosy about your colleague? And why are you putting in a re police report more than anything? I mean, like, are you investigating her? Okay, evidence obtained at Fairfax residence led myself and Agent Halpern to quarry to a quarry local to Kingdom. Okay, at the behest of the assistant director. Uh oh. So this is Agent Maria Halpern, Ortega Halpern. Wish we could take a look at those envelopes again. I forgot what the second name was. Okay, so this is not only our colleague, it's also one of our suspects, I think. Let's uh, open up the dash. No, I guess we can only do that when she's out of the car. All right, what now? It'd be so nice if we could just talk to her, but she just likes, oh, sandwich. I was hoping for a sandwich at some point in this game, and there it is. Okay, I wonder what that's all about. And why are we staked out watching the Air Force Base? Is something supposed to happen at the observatory? Is that the construction guy? And sounds like we're oh, we're moving. All right. the construction site near the observatory. Oh, is the observatory being torn down into uh, housing? That might be it. gas station now. Alright, well, uh, fill her up. Okay, ooh, filling your car simulator now. Alright, well, let's put some gas in the tank. You gotta move it. So realistic, it's almost like putting gas in a real car. Okay, well, that's done. Okay, I'm walking around here. Where are you up to, Maria? She got snacks. Oh, she's got a buffalo. Alright, I, I don't like your uh, thinking on this, Maria. Got too much weird buffalo stuff going on as it is. Oh, no, I'm not taking that. Damn it, I have to. Alright, I'll take your buffalo. Why would you even pick this up, Maria? Uh oh. She's, I guess, I guess we have been investigating her the whole time. Maybe that was the idea. Alright, I'm going over my head. I didn't realize that we were sneaking on our colleague. So I guess this is the uh, woman of note that they were talking about at the microfiche. Well... I guess this is sort of semi-confusing. We're, start, we're starting to get into the story here, into the bit of a mystery. And all right, where do we go next? Do these doors open? Of course not. All right, let's go this way. Well, I guess that could explain why Maria's been uh, so pissed off with us this whole time. here? Uh, nope, not yet. 
Was this the uh, way to the graduation stage? I guess that's where we're going. Oh, no, we're going down to the underground again. It's back this way. Just a door. Can we go through that? Probably not. Yeah, I should stop wasting time. We're not going to be exploring this police station. Alright, let's go down to the bottom level. Down to the archives. Kind of reminds me of being back at university. They had a nice little stairwell like this. I guess these things are common enough. And down in the basement. The damp mold to make sure that your evidence stays fresh. Friday. Well, things get curiouser and curiouser. Uh, it seems like there might be some sort of FBI conspiracy going on. At least they uh, don't seem to like Maria very much. And there's that broken key that we saw earlier. Alright, I was going to wrap it up here, but it looks like we're in a cutscene. So let's keep going. We're in a taxi. This is the taxi I think we saw back in chapter one. Are we going back to Virginia? Okay, there is Maria fighting that guy at the mine entrance again. And I uh, threw something way over there. I'm not sure what it was. It wasn't the knife apparently because he had that on him. And he didn't use it. So in front of the mines. So I think I'm going to wrap the episode here. 
there was uh, just that little extra bit of weirdness. Uh, will the wildlife continue to mystify us? Uh, will we figure out what is going on between uh, Maria Ortega Halpern and the FBI? What is up with that meddlesome priest? And all sorts of other questions. Will they be answered in the next episode? Probably not, but we'll do our best. Until then, thanks for watching.